Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, this one, as you can see, I've got the Odin Pro and I've got this Citra MMJ. It's a 3DS emulator. This is the latest one. It's not on the Play Store. I will leave a link in the description. So, once you click on this, you will be met with this. Now, this, before you do anything, you need to put your ROMs in a folder. So if I go back, I'll just show you. I've got mine on my SD card. You can have them on your main storage. So just put your games, as you can see. Another thing, they've got to be 3DS. If it's CIA, they will not work. They have to be decrypted. So make sure you search for decrypted ROMs. So like I say, I'll put them in a folder. So you'll be met with this. So all you do is click on, go to your folder. Once you've done that, that's what you'll be met with. There's no BIOS, it'll just pick them up straight away. So that's that. Next thing, you go to these three dots. This is simple. You just put your keys in. So you press A, press A on your controller, so on. L, uh, your second uh, shoulder button which is ZL, so that's easy. Now, settings. You don't have to touch these. I've had a tinker about with these, and you certainly don't. The only one you can mull about with is this, your internal resolution. I've got it on two. It depends what kind of device you've got. Some might struggle on two. This is not so bad. Like I say, if you've got lower-end device, keep it on one. So, like I say, you can have a tinker about with it. Just make sure... If you click on something different, you know what you've clicked on. And if it doesn't work, you go back to it. So that's that. So then you click on a game. Right, it's so easy. When you first time you start it up, you will have uh, the on-screen controls. So all you have to do is go to that, settings. Is it in this one? Add input buttons. Like I said, you're not it, this. This has got a built-in controller. If you've got a tablet or something, you can use either on if you want to touch, use touch screen. So that's that. Then you've got, as you can see, how my screen set up. You can go to custom layout, and you can just resize everything. I, I like this. When it first starts off, you'll have a, you'll have your main screen there and your other screen there. But I like it like this. Like I said. You can have them all about with that. So that's, it's, it's, this is so easy, this setup. You know, I've just, basically I've done it as a video because some people are new to emulators struggle. But for me, this is a piece of cake. These are my ROMs. Like you said, if you go on Google, type in Citra 3DS ROMs, because some of them won't work. All these, they work brilliant. Like I said, some, they struggle. Like I said, go on Google and they'll tell you. Like I said, find your own, I can't tell you, but it's pretty easy. So that's basically it. It's just probably the easiest emulator that I've ever set up. So those are the games. Hope you like this video. If you have any uh, queries or you're running into trouble, just put them in the comments and I'll get straight back to you. Right, I will let you go. Hope this video has helped you. See you later.